when I first started writing, I think it was the, the typical sort of dream that a lot of people have, which is, you know, I'm going to find an agent and I'm going to get traditionally published and then it's going to get picked up to be a, a movie or a TV show and then blah, 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 you know, on it goes. And, you know, you run into reality. <laughs> I mean, that, those things do happen for some people still, but not for everybody. And that's just the way it is. It's not really an indicator of the quality of the work or anything like that. It's market trends how the intern who was going through the slush file felt that day. When my last book, In the Dark of the Grove, got briefly published by a publishing company in Sweden, after that that collapse, that publishing company collapsed, and I, I decided to self-publish, it was sort of an aha moment because I had just been writing and writing books. Like, In the Dark of the Grove, The Master of Shearhaven, that is just a scratching the surface of the number of books I've written, have sent out to agents and then just sort of didn't go anywhere after that. So now with this ability to self-publish, I can really control the look of everything. I can get it to be as good as it can be. I can decide how many books I'm gonna publish a year and all that good stuff. And it's just an exciting new opportunity for me. And it made me think about why I'm doing this because I kind of, I mean, I don't want to say gave up on the dream of being traditionally published. It's like, if, if it came to me, that's great. But I would rather put my effort and my time into indie publishing because trying to do both at the same time just wasn't really working for me. I've been so much happier now that I've just decided to publish these things independently, but I've never sold a lot of books. I, I don't really know the total number of books between what Gert Dog sold and what I've sold of In the Dark of the Grove, but we're probably very easily talking under 300 books. So, you know, I'm not setting records or anything for indie published books, but I, I think about with the master Shearhaven, how I've been feeling leading up to the release date. And it, usually that's a time when I'm very emotionally fragile. I think that is where I lived within the dark of the grove and had a very emotional response after it was released. But this time, even though that is sort of floating out there in my head, I've been really able to refocus why I do this, why I write. And part of it came through a conversation with my partner and he was asking me, you know, could you just write for yourself? And this has been a while back, but I was, you know, having a moment of frustration. And he's like, you know, can you write for yourself? And I, and I really, it was such a great question. And what I realized is that, you know, because writing is so much about connecting with other people, that just writing for myself wouldn't be enough. So then I started asking myself, okay, if the idea is to connect and it's not really monetary anymore, I mean, I would love for my book to break even. But really what it comes down to is that feeling of communication, like I've communicated with someone. And so then the question for me really becomes, okay, what's your metric? What is enough? How many people are enough? I, I can literally just, I can set my own goal. There isn't anything I need to live up to other than my own expectations, which seems very obvious, but was weirdly a kind of a revelation. And it just reduced the anxiety so much on my part about the release of this book. I can be proud of what I put out in the world and then let go of my control because I have none. So I guess let go of my illusion of having some kind of a control. And that feels so good because what I came up with, the number that I would feel satisfied with the Master Shearhaven, the, the sales number is 300. Because that's, that's about how much I think In the Dark of the Grove probably has done. Maybe a little more, honestly. When I think about In the Dark of the Grove and my journey with that book, and really a lot of it's happened just being on this app, like the short time, like the last year that I've been on this app where I've really actually been able to connect with readers, people reviewing it, giving me feedback. I have had so much satisfaction in that process and connecting with other authors I'm like, that's all, actually all I really need. <laughs> I, I feel really good about what I did within the dark of the grove. I feel proud of myself. I feel proud of that book. So that's why I went for the Master Surehaven. And I think it's very doable. It may not happen in a year, but I, I really feel like when people start reading this book, they're going to like it. And I, and I hope everyone shouts that out loud <laughs> from the rooftops because there's a lot of people out there with a lot of books.
I know there's a lot of choices. That's one of the reasons why I'm just so genuinely grateful and, and touched by everybody who's already pre-ordered because you made a choice in a sea of many choices to take a chance on me and this book. And that means a lot. 